Let's take a look at systems linear equations, two equations, two variables by graphing. Let's take a look at this first problem here. <clears throat> We've got y is equal to 3x minus 3, y is equal to 5x minus 7. Now you want to be in your apps menu, so if you're not in your apps menu, press your apps button. We want to go into the function, so uh, press enter on that. I'm going to do a backspace on F1, and I want to put in 3x minus 3 there. So 3x minus 3, press enter. And on F2, I'm going to press my backspace to clean that out, and I want 5x minus 7. Now this method works very well if your calculators are, or if your problems are already solved for y. And then press enter. And now if I do plot, our answer is going to be where they intersect. And uh, you see right here, the problem with doing it by hand or even without some kind of function is you got to eyeball it. And I can't really see myself uh, what this answer would be. Maybe 2, 1, 2, 2, 4, 2, 3. I don't know. Anyway, we press menu. You choose function. And then I want to do 2 for intersection. And it'll say the intersection of F1. And remember we put uh, 3x minus 3 on F1. And you can either have it intersect with another function or the x-axis. Well, we want uh, F2, which is where I put 5x minus 7. So I just press enter on that. And it tells us our intersection is 2, 3. And that's our answer. Yeah, let's look at another one. Again, you notice all of these are solved for y. If you wanted to use this method and, and it wasn't already um, the form of y equals, then you'd need to solve for y first. Okay, let's do this one. I'm going to go back to my symbol. Let me do a backspace on that, enter, and uh, go down here, do a backspace on it, enter. Uh, I think I did it. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Go back to F1, and um, I'm going to put in my 9x plus 1, enter, and the next one I'll put 2x minus 3, and press enter. Okay, now let's plot, and we see our answer is right there. Not sure what it is, um, but if I press menu and choose function, I can choose intersection, so I do 2. And we want to intersect it with F2, because uh, that'd be where we put we put this on F1 and put this on F2. So I press enter on that. And we get something that's um, a little bit not, not what we expected. Uh, negative 5.71e to the negative 1 and negative 4.1429. Okay, that's our intersection. Let me write that down. Negative 5.71 e to the negative 1, comma, negative 4.1429. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. I'll click OK, and I'll go back to symbol. Okay, 9x plus 1 is on F1. And 2x minus 3 is on F2. So keep those in mind, F1 and F2. <clears throat> Let me actually jot it down here. This is F1, and this is F2. Well, if I go home, click my home button. Oops. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> home. And if I um, do vars and um, function, do one for function. And you see results. I do one for results. And the second one says ISECT. That's intersection. So I do two. And now if I press enter, you see the full decimal instead of the scientific notation here. And if I press my uh, fraction button, you see it changes to negative four sevenths. In algebra, we like exact, exact answers like that. Well, then uh, the question becomes, well, how do you get the other one? Well, this is our x part, and I could plug that in for the x in y equals 9x plus 1, and then solve for y and get that. 
Uh, but remember, that's an F1. So if I do vars and I choose function, one for function and two for symbolic, you see you got F1, F2, and so forth. So I'll plug it into F1. So I'll do one for F1. Now I want to do parentheses. And now I want to put in the intersection. I could type in negative four sevenths direct if I wanted to, or simply do vars and then function, one for function, one for results, and two for isect, intersection. And press enter. And you notice we get the same decimal that we got there. Well, now if I press my fraction, you see that's negative 29 sevenths. Not as nice as I think as uh, Texas Instruments, that just where you can just press math in or enter on whatever variable you have, but uh, that is a way you can do it. And that that I do like the fact that this kind of lends itself to algebra. Because if you think how you did it in algebra, you take negative four sevenths, plug it in for x, and then you simplify it. So we're plugging it into this function. Now it does not matter which one you plug it into. If I plug it into F2, it'll give me the same answer. Let me show that. If I do vars, one for function, two for symbolic, and I do two for F2, do my parentheses, and then go back to vars, one for function, one for results, and two for intersection, and press enter. See, we get that. And then if I do my fraction, we get negative 29 sevenths because that's what intersection is. It's the where they uh, intersect. They both they both have that point in common. So that's our answer on the second one, and that's our answer on the first one. <clears throat> and that's solving systems of linear equations in two equations, two variables by graphing.